It's 22 degrees out there right now. 22 degrees in mid-March. But I'm still about to go out there and do that thing. Stand in the ice cold waters. Walk around on the rocks. See what we can find today on this perfect Sunday. Daylight savings time is set in. It's 9 a.m., but yesterday it would have been 8 a.m. at this time. We're about to grab the big boy with big heavy pockets. See if we can load up. <laughs> Look, it's my reflection in here. See you later. Check it out, there's still ice on this side. But what do you expect when it's 29 degrees out here mid-March? We're about to jump up in this thing. Frigid, ice, cold waters. Yeah, I got the waders on, I do, but you still can kind of feel it. In between, there's golf ball we're not going to grab. We had some monumental flood waters come through here early last week and then Friday night rain for about seven to nine hours up here and then the temperatures dropped and they got snow up here yesterday of course it's all gone it got up to like 42 degrees yesterday but this dang thing right here is crazy I see balance already and they just pulled down some trees right here on the right hand side well the left hand side excuse me and I see some water on the left that has never been there before. What the heck happened out here? Please tell me there's going to be some things to put in the pocket in the museum. And I just jumped up on in here. Let's pray it's going to be a perfect monumental day. Today's a very special day. It is. The clocks were, you know, Zoomed forward an hour at 2 a.m. this morning, giving us an extra hour of daylight, which means it's not going to be getting dark till like 7:45, 8 o'clock. About dang time it came back. Mm. How high did they get? Hard to tell. I see some tree leaves up there on the side. Maybe four feet, don't know. All I care about is what might be in here and what might be in other places. I don't know how long I'm going to spend out here, though. It's a very short distance to cover. But no one in their right mind ever, yesterday and today, would ever come out except for one person because of the fridge attempts. <sighs> I'm nervous because what if we don't find anything? This is one of the most monumental spots ever. In my book, that is. Let me go ahead and get started with this thing. The battery has a tendency to be drained real quickly when it's ice cold out here. Let me get to looking around. Let's hope they're going to be intact if there's anything at all out here. Looks like they're trying to 
manipulated ditch over here. I see something in the water. I see a ball. Okay, I'm not going to grab it. I'm just going to look at it. What the heck is that? A leaf tile or something. Everything is frozen in the ground like we're in... Wait, hold on. Let me think. Everything's frozen in the ground like we're in Missouri. i got to talk about this for a minute. Okay, here's another idea that I had when I was driving up here. And when I was getting out of bed and stuff like that, I was like, you saw the beginning of the video. I was like, it's 22 degrees out here in mid-March. 22 degrees in mid-March. What am I trying to get across to you right now? Let me think about this for a minute. I think they're trying to set me back in time for something specific out here. I mean... The buds really haven't been blooming at the moment. They're kind of behind this year for some reason. Recently, for the past five or six years, the blooms of the flowers and stuff, like the purple and pink ones, I forgot what plant that is. And then the, uh, what do you call that? The Bradford pear trees have been starting to bloom in mid to late February. But this year has been different. They just started coming out in the first week of March. And I was like, that's kind of strange though. And then I was driving up here in 22 degree weather and I was thinking to myself you know what I didn't come out at all this winter I didn't I stayed in to create art that was it I nearly never came out at all this winter time because I said to myself you know I gotta stay in get back into the art thing they need to hold on to some things for me later now listen to what I'm saying right quick. Listen to how I'm talking about this. It's almost like they're forcing me to go back in time. And I was like, you know, I can't go back out in the winter time because the weather is too cold and it's getting dark at five o'clock. I only want to go out when we have enough time to look around. Need to have enough time to look around, enough daylight and vice versa they need to hold on to some things out here for us to find and not let loose of it not let it go not let it be lost forever not let it be carried out of here so when I was driving up here it was almost made me feel in this game of theirs out here this little game that has to do with my desires It's almost like they set back time. It's frigid out here, like we're in the middle of winter. December, January, the times I failed to come out. And it's like I'm back in December. It's almost like they're making me come out again in those times in which I didn't come out to collect the things that they might be holding on to within the ice. <sighs> Strange it is, the song gonna be getting up to like 41 today, and I have the heavy jacket on. What if that is the case? What if that's the case that they're making me come out to play the game? That I'm actually back in December. January to look for what I would have collected if I came out at that time maybe those pieces that I would have collected are out here now the pieces that would have been out here in December January waiting for me to find them in a different time but the same time quite a balance within the game I would say please tell me that they're not frozen in here because I sure as heck am looks like I just found that first thing I know it's not a quad or anything like that you already know what it is
this is downright impossible. The heck did I come out here for then? <laughs> Everything I found so far has been well, the stuff that I thought had napping on the side ended up being ice. <laughs> the points should be sitting right up at an angle. Or they should be like tilted down just a little bit. I'm trying to catch the edges though. I'm almost afraid to look in the heavier spots because it's impossible to see anything. The rocks are the perfect size. I want one that's just like intact sitting there. <laughs> you're gonna say you gotta go to Missouri for that. <laughs> I know you're right about that. You gotta go to Missouri, Ohio, Kentucky. You gotta go to all those places right there to find 17 in here. Ain't that the truth? Nothing yet. Still nothing. Well, it's a sandy zone. Haven't gotten to the rocky section yet. You're going to say, but hey, the fence say, hey, it's all rocky. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the perfect combination of the things you're looking for. I'm having to really focus on all this stuff right here, but you know what? The sun's at an awkward angle at the moment. So it's kind of hard to see things in certain locations. You're gonna say, why don't you just come back to this location later? As you look around and further down the creek or something like that. Well, I don't know if I wanna take that chance. But you know, we love to go backwards. So that might work out, but I'm having to look at everything out here. Because there could be an ax head out here. There could be a, a rock with a face profile side profile on it there could be a family photo <laughs> there could be a family photo out here when they chiseled their family faces there could be 15 finger pointer rocks that they made there could be effigies I mean what the heck is this thing right here probably just some clay soil frozen maybe a piece of a chain or metal a piece of earth let me keep looking around I know I just covered this zone I just got a little bit lost I mean look at this line and this rock right here though <laughs> welcome to Missouri yeah look at that thing right there look at those lines forming that right there bam got it for the day the treasure let's leave it all I have to say is wow almost like it's the only thing I'll ever notice and see still nothing yet That's crazy right there though. It is. Not a dang thing in this. Not one single morsel. Even if it was broken, I wouldn't have kept it. <laughs> but not one single thing, even in the water. The only thing that I found in the water was what? The third thing so far today. A perfection. But I can't keep them. You know that by now. That's the perfect thing right there. 
Gotta leave it out here. What a dang bummer. Wonder why. But you know, there's nothing wrong with the eyes. I know that for a fact. How so? There's one right here. Black chert. Absolutely perfect. Nothing wrong with the eyes, right? Nothing but a leaf. At least the eyes are working. Great test for today. Well, I'm at the point of it all. Kind of figured it was going to come down to this. Another idea that I had, I didn't tell you about in the beginning over there. When it came to coming out, when they were trying to force me to feel the winter weather because I refused to come out in the winter time. So experience this and look around and look for things that could be here, could not be here. Or maybe they're trying to get me to find the things that I would have collected. But instead, I decided to stay in and work on art. So the last thing at the very end over here at the point is not a point. It's a piece of art. Thanks for that one. Thanks for allowing me to see it. Keep going. The only treasure right here at the moment is life itself. And I know that for a fact. Well, this is the closest I'm going to get so far anyway. Not keeping it though. I don't know if that's the top or the bottom. Broken. That's the final answer. <laughs> Back to where you can see it. Bright and white. But at least I'm about to add something to the hand. The pocket. Something I rarely find out here. I only saw it when I kept going forward. Everybody knows what that thing is. Even it has the classic line on the inside. I saw it a mile away. It's the top of something. There's the brim. You can see it. There's that famous little line. Cool. First and only thing added to the pocket at the moment. Would have been 10 o'clock this time yesterday. Instead, it's 11. Nothing wrong with another heart rock to add to the heart box. It's better on one side. Let me think about it. First thing in an hour. And then some, probably.
surprised it's nothing else. Should have collected nine or ten by now. What do we have here? It's right on the surface. What's other things were right on the surface? Add it to the pocket. <laughs> you guys crazy. This is insanely weird, though. Absolutely. You're saying, Davinci, you suck at this hobby. Why don't you give it up now? For Instead of hoping that you'll increase on the uh, museum stash, why don't you just give it up and just chill for 2022 and just go out and enjoy your time in heaven? Go out exploring and stuff like that and not just waste your time doing something like this well what am i going to do today it's 33 degrees right now what am i going to do sit on the kayak <laughs> it's not warm enough yet i gotta get an early start on that maybe i'll go out on the kayak when it's 75 and not wait until it gets up to 88 in late may yeah dang what a bummer I've already gone in there a little bit, not to the end though, or the new beginning, but they've done strange things out here, they have, they've wiped out the jam underneath this down tree right there, so I know they had to pull something out, or put things in our path, you're saying, Vinci, it looks like you're having a hard time, why can't we come out there with you, we'll find them for you, <laughs> but that's the problem, that's the problem with GA, in many respects, you can say it's nearly impossible to find anything out here. Some days I find eight, some days I find four, some days I find zero, some days I find one. Some days I find half of one. But the balance in Georgia is off. It is, it's way off. That's why no one can be like in other states and stuff like that. Like a lot of other places, like I was talking about earlier, Kentucky, Missouri, Ohio, the Midwest, Texas, all those other places, you can have groups of people go out and they each will find five to ten apiece, if not even more than that. If they're digging or just looking in the creeks on the banks, stuff like that. You can go out in groups so their balance is evened out. They love each other. They have a good time with each other. Even the guys out there in Louisiana, Mississippi, they can go out and do that thing. In groups and they chit chat one person finds ten the other one finds seven three other guys or two ladies they find another seven apiece eight apiece they go home happy they chill for the rest of the day but in GA it's a different story with that in order to keep the balance you can only go out alone in GA Unless you're in Dalton or something like that. Extreme northwest Georgia towards Tennessee. You can kind of collect a group of people out there. Maybe you got to figure out the balance when it comes to that. Like where I'm at now. You should only be alone. Because your balance with the other person is going to be way off. They're going to find two. You're going to find zero. <laughs> or you find a broken one. They find the top half. <laughs> so you're equal. Uh, it's a white thing right there. It's probably nothing at all. Where did it go? I think that was it right there. Uh, still under there. Uh, let me go ahead and pull it out with a hand and get a rock. That's nothing at all. Yeah, that's nothing. Yeah, but see, that's what I'm talking about. I got proof of it, too. I mean, think about this. Every time I go to Hog Mine, down there in LaGrange or something like that, I haven't been down there in years. It's been a long time since I've been down there. But every time I went, 
I would be the first person in and last person out. But I would be the only one out there who would never find what everybody else is finding. I never understood that though. It was almost as if that, that was the scary thing. That was the thing I had to kind of think about a while back. Why is it that every time I go to places like that, I'm always the only one that never finds it? It's one of those places that I talk about all the time because I used to like going there. I still do, but I just, I don't have the time I used to though. I don't have a full summer break. So I spent a week down there in that location. But it was almost as if I kept wondering why I would be the only person who would never find everything. But everybody was digging. And everybody was surface collecting. And everybody would just roll out with buckets full of things. And I went out there digging, had the pits fork, all that kind of stuff. The two different types of shovels, the hand shovels. I used to carry all that stuff with me in a bucket. And I would just keep digging, keep digging, never find anything at all. But then everybody else, I'd be sitting next to somebody. I know you kind of like don't encroach in somebody's location. You kind of stay away, but you kind of just like end up in the same location sometimes. And uh, next to people, and you would just talk, you know, where you're from. I'm from uh, Kentucky. I'm from all these other places. I'm from out west. We just found this place on the Internet, decided to come go. And you just start talking. And I would be sitting next to them and they would find five pieces. What am I trying to say? They would find like the uh, terminal, not tourmaline, but the other one, the aquamarine. They would find the aquamarine crystals. And I'd be sitting there and find nothing at all. Start getting frustrated. But that just kept making me wonder about myself. It's like, what is it about me that I can't find what other people find? When they go out and do the same exact thing that I do in the same exact location, it's like the treasure's being hidden from me. But maybe the fact is, is that they know or they're trying to tell me out here that you're not supposed to dig for the main treasure. Maybe that's it. Maybe they're just holding back, trying to tell me something out here. That the truth is, is the main treasure is going to be on the surface. It's just part of the signs of my life, I guess. But when it comes to this little hobby right here, that's all I do is surface collect. And I find it on the surface every time. I'm not going to move in rocks. I'm not going to dig. I'm not going to sift things around. Nothing like that. I'm going to hope that I can see it. And let the pointing fingers lead the way. If I can follow the perfect direction and eventually find that thing. But every time I usually go out, it's always like that. Yeah, you don't want to be with somebody else out here doing this hobby. If you're looking for specific items, especially if it comes to major, major ancient history. That can be increased within the uh, museum stash. Because your emotions change. They do. Instead of becoming friends, you become foes. It's like the Battle of Angiari. It's like the less of them, when you cut them down, the more angry they get. But every time they try to come back on your land, every time they try to grow and come back, either it's weeds or trees or whatever, what do you do? You get mad. Same kind of concept here. Can't have anybody out here because I'll get mad. Because <laughs> you know they're bound to find something that you wish you had. They're bound to find something that you know for a fact you desire. But there's a sense that I find things and collect things that people never notice or never think about. Thus, they will never get mad if they were hanging out with me out here in heaven. Keep looking, still nothing. What a shame.
for now anyway. bottom one weird that's the inside that's the outside rubbed off beautiful add it to the pocket just one piece of pottery that's it one piece of Native American pottery today is that another piece of ice ice crystal yes it is Wonder if I can find another rock out here with a human face on it. That thing's priceless. One of a kind out here. There's another piece of ice. Seems like the ice is just floating around. <laughs> All sorts of colors. It's known as glass. <laughs> and crystal rock. Yes, yeah, so that's a weird day though. I don't understand this. I thought about this too when it came to this. I mean, I've had great times out here and I can't give up the hobby because it gets me closer to the the ones out here nature itself just coming across the things as a hobby and understanding things deeper things that is like it comes to life life for the humans out here I don't know what life would be like if I wasn't coming across the artifacts you know if I wasn't coming across it, I would probably think differently about life in a different way. Like it's hard to understand life if you don't find the older things, you know, that the humans made. Regardless of what it is, you have to find it to understand how important life is. Because those people are gone. Even if it's just back in the 1890s, those people are gone. Where the souls at today? Very powerful energy. Maybe some out here choose to stay. Maybe they're forced to come out. They're t forced to come back. But every time I find something, I try to pick it up and understand it and look at it. And how it's made and what it came from. Like everything out here you're looking at. I gotta watch what I talk about though. When it comes to this. Every time I pick up a rock and say it's nothing, I think I'm saying something wrong terribly wrong because it's everything because that's how everything began it began with this nature itself quite the learning process the learning curve that is but everything out here has a connection everything out here in a way is connected even to the human race you just touch it you can feel it a lot of things you can eat a lot of things you can smell, whatever. A lot of things you can hear, especially. Use this stuff out here to build your societies. Way back when, and into today, like the stone and all the other stuff. I mean, every time I have these fantasies about getting land out here. Anywhere that has a lot of land. Don't cut down the trees. Build the trees up. And everything else. But I keep, I have this mindset like I lived also back in like the very early days. Where I keep wanting, I desire to just go out and just dig up rocks. 
and build the foundation of the homestead like it was a long time ago. I want to do that so bad. It's like the only way of life I desire. You know? But it's like I also desire the high-rise <laughs> condo at the top floor of a 90-story building. <laughs> It's like I'm yin and yang at the same time. Got to have it all. But there's something about living in areas like this, you know. Being out here. Being a part of it. Pick up the death. Pick up the death and build it. Imagine how clean it would look. And I think that's what God wants. I told you that in many of my videos before. Pick up all this stuff and use it. Don't use the life away. Because you have to use life. Later on, if you know what I mean. If you take away the life, you're screwed. Yeah, but this stuff right here, with that connection of it, the stuff that you create, the stuff that I'm also looking for, tells a story. It's like your soul is encapsulated in it. If you move it, you moved it. If you pick up a rock and pick up a piece of bark or something like that, imagine your house overlapping these map pieces right here to create the facade of it in different layers imagine how that would look but you touch it you create it in a way you are it at that time because it is you what you created but I was thinking about that a long time ago when it came to that the things that we create today what we do with it it's like you are connected to it since you dealt with it. It's a weird sensation though. I know certain things when it comes to the soul. It's almost like you can't remember anything that happens after your death. It's like you remember from the point when you died. Before then, all the way through birth, you remember those times when you saw things, you heard things. Everything that was built within your soul, that you collected within your soul. The things that you would witness in life. It's almost as if, as long as it's around, you can still live. But you can only live up to a certain point. Like your music that you love to listen to. All the music that you collected in your life, the music that you loved, has a connection with you. It's almost like when your soul is out here after you die or something like that, and you haven't come back yet. What if you do come back to, to things that still exist, the things that you remember, the things that you're a part of, like the houses, the homesteads? The buildings that you saw being built in the cities that you drove through as you saw them being born just like everything there's always that weird connection about life it's almost like it wakes you up even if you're dead you're not dead your soul remembers I wonder what would happen if you went you know play music that people never play at all these days imagine if you go to some graveyard or something like that or if you just go out into the streets of Atlanta in your convertible and you start blasting music from the 1880s think about that I know people are going to laugh at you because of today's society is like that but imagine if you go out and do that kind of thing the ones who remember that music will probably wake up they will probably be out there because it's almost like in their souls they are still living because there's something that they remember and it wakes them up they're waiting but I had to think about that though because when I went to Oakland Cemetery and I was standing next to some graves and someone said Reuben is watching you and I didn't think about it until I saw the movie later when I was putting the video together and I was standing next to a grave that had someone's first name was Reuben off to the left never noticed that until I saw the video 
but apparently you're still there. Well, of course, in the geometry of the nature, you always hear me talk about that kind of thing. It's always going to be here. Let's hope it's always going to be here. But I tell you, you have to keep hanging on to it. You have to be part of it. You have to have it in order for you to live life, everlasting life. But what happens if you go out to Oakland Cemetery and play music from the 1860s? What happens if you dress in certain attire, certain outfits, playing the music of the olden times, even all the way up to the 40s, 50s, and 60s, like Fox 97? <laughs> People will have a party because they know that you know that you can kind of create something, bring out the life in everybody again. I had that concept before. It's like a different kind of Ouija board. Like if your mom's not around anymore, your grandma's not around anymore. Imagine if you had their clothes or something in the house. Imagine if you went to a house that they grew up in or a house that they used to own that is still around. And you played music. You play a TV program on a TV, an old TV from like the 60s or 70s. Maybe they'll be there. Maybe they will. Maybe you can bring them out all the time like that, you know? I thought about that as a concept of life. I'll never forget that time when I was at Oakland Cemetery, and I think I heard my uncle. And I heard somebody say his name in the video, and I think that might have been me. Could have been my brother who said that. They said, Uncle so-and-so, he's a lawyer. Because I was standing next to a grave of a lawyer, and someone said, he's too fat. So apparently they can see inside the graves to see maybe the size of the coffin or something. But I'll never forget that time when someone said they found me some service. They found me some service. And that was just a couple of months after my uncle passed away. And he's buried not too far from where Oakland Cemetery is. He's at Westview. So it made me wonder about that. He was probably telling my soul that they found him some service. And I couldn't attend the funeral because I had no idea he was going. How the heck did they washed out the bottom here? I'm not a gymnast. <laughs> God's crazy. Oh, man. I gotta step between the legs. Maybe I need to try to see if I can qualify for the Olympics after doing that one. Just kidding. Yeah, but think about that, though. What happens What happens to you if your world is destroyed, though? I'm not talking about, like, nature or anything like that. I'm talking about, like, when you have wars and stuff like that, and you destroy buildings that you remember. When buildings and cities and places are destroyed, the geometries are changed within the universe. Things are manipulated. Things are changed. So what does that do to you? Like when I disagree about tearing down old houses, old homesteads and stuff like that, you keep it. Because people are connected to those things. I'm not going to call it haunted or anything like that. Maybe people like being on this side. The souls love being on this side. Out here. And they go deep out into heaven deep out to nature where there's no development but the houses and things that their souls are connected to when they're destroyed does that erase part of their soul the memory of what they remember the things that they remember if everything is gone does that mean that they're gone does that erase them their soul it's probably another reason why when I come out and do this, I'll look at everything. I'll look at everything possible. Take it in with the soul. Especially when it comes to things like mountains and stuff like that. Rocks, stones, things of nature. I'll look at it, study it. The geometries, angles, 
because the things that I know that are still existing millions of years from now could help me stay alive in a different way the stole stay alive all powerful soul the energy the endless energy but your memory is out here encapsulating everything that is created you're only going to remember things up to your death that's it so you have to keep the things of the past in order to stay alive look at that piece of ash right there ancient so old it's not going to rub off it has turned into a different kind of nature I can tell because the crystals on it are really thick they stand out more on that which means it's not going to rub off it's not powdery anymore yeah but that's why I love looking at things and I try to do my best to study the development of world like buildings and stuff that's why I love construction when you build towards the sky always follow the pointing fingers <laughs> build up instead of build out because you know something can come back and erase that you know that don't you there will be something that comes back to erase that part of your history deep out in the middle of nowhere where you take out heaven you take them out and put something temporary so then in a way those people who grew up in suburbs and stuff like that in those temporary cheaply built houses subdivisions in their one story office complexes and stuff if that whole location out there those locations were wiped out and that's all you remember your high schools no matter what it is you don't ever go into the cities you try to get away from it I don't understand why that's the places that you're supposed to build high to live highly <laughs> but dang imagine if all that was wiped out what happens to you if that's all you were if that's all you remember that's why I tell you how life is so important go to sporting events do what you can go to the cities and see the cities so you always remember them the buildings and structures that will stand time that's why it's important like out in Europe that's probably how I'm my soul still remembers all that kind of stuff the places deep out in Europe the ancient structures hundreds and hundreds of years old even a thousand years old the balance in that life right there will help you keep your memory there's always going to be something about your soul even when you do come back all your times of living you'll always remember you'll always be a part of that soul of yours because your memory is out here but that's one thing people are never going to forget that's one thing also is so glorious about heaven which I always talk about coming out here like that game I told you about that people always play in preschool and elementary school the listening game close your eyes and write down everything that you hear and you'll hear things that you never even noticed but everybody knows the sounds of birds the sounds of the music out here the sounds of water now you see what I'm getting at the sounds of the waters the sounds of nature the sounds of the birds the music that everybody knows except the ones unfortunately that are deaf they have to rely on their eyes but what about the ones that don't see and hear that's what I'm worried about 
they can just go by touch. But how does that work with them? Go by touch, of course. Have them feel trees, I guess. Have them hug a tree. They can feel the bark. They can feel the geometries of it. Take them out to the trees of life. Everybody can always be a part of that. Because originally we were. We always can be. But everybody knows about the sounds of nature. Like I say, there's always coming back. In the depths of winter. When the birds are hiding out. Hibernating. All the other ones. The sounds of no rustling leaves when the wind blows. It's almost like they're rusting. But that's also that one thing. Actually, that one thing is several things. The sounds of nature. That keep them around. Something that no one can ever take out. Except for the human race. Nothing at all. Looks well, like we're not taking out anything from here. I pray so. Last time I came out here, the only one I found was over there on the right. And it was perfectly intact, little red, pinkish one. Little tiny archaic piece. Last thing I recovered out here was the only one of the day. And I was in the right position to see it. Right position to see it. Still don't know what's going on though. Should have collected seven or eight by now. Guess I'm gonna have to follow this normal same protocol and just wait until springtime which it technically almost is in about another week or two but that daylight savings time is 12 45 now we still have seven hours of daylight left <laughs> perfect it's getting more we're going to get more later <laughs> ah thank you for the light but the only downfall for that for us when it comes to this hobby the only downfall about that is that it means we get home later which means things are going to be closed gotta do laundry stay up until stay up until one o'clock doing laundry as opposed to staying up until 11 30. because you know we stay out whenever we have a chance to go out we stay out as long as humanly possible and uh, i drag things out in my videos i know i do man but we have a crap load of time left. But I got to think about what I just went through earlier. I do. You know? I mean, it's like the only thing that I collected was a piece of pottery. And that's it. It's almost like a sign that they're trying to get me to go to a different hot spot. A place where all I find is pottery. And that is all. No, no points, nothing like that. Not a dang thing when it comes to that kind of history. But since I only found that one piece of pottery, and that is it, I might have to go to a different location. But trust me, we have plenty of time, plenty of time to find it. So I don't know if I'm going to do that the rest of the day. I can only go a little bit of ways up in here before I get on somebody else's property and I gotta stop and turn around. I don't wanna be cutting through or anything like that. What's that? Is that a broken X? Hold on, sorry about the gallon. Pretty. Glorious. Don't call it nothing because it's everything.
Yeah, maybe that was a sign I needed to go to that one spot I haven't gone to in about a year. It's been a very long time since I've gone to that one location. I guess they're trying to tell me that it's time to time to make some collections that they've been holding on to for the longest time. That could be the case. Imagine if it is. I got the heavy jacket on for a purpose and the pockets are completely empty at the moment. Another old school piece of crockware. Add it to the pocket. It's got an orange inside, I think. Nothing really much to look at. No, it's not orange. My bad. <laughs> oh, look at that balance. Dang. They got balance upon balance right there. Cool. I got a little bit of a issue. Something to tell you, though. A problem that I noticed when it came to one of my magical videos. A video that's been a year in the making. Is that plastic or rubber? Rubber ones will fly high. Huh. Let's go ahead and add this to the pocket. That's cool. It's not rusted enough though. I'm not going to ask them to keep working on it though. They probably worked hard enough out here. And it takes time to rust this thing up. But yeah, that time lapse video I'm trying to put together from Stone Mountain. I thought May was the last month that I had the Cricut image. I thought that was going to be the last one I had to go back and grab so I can put that thing together. A little three minute video after a year and some change of capturing perfect sunsets with no clouds the best I can out there at different time intervals so you can see how the sun transfers through the the uh, over the planet over time but I just noticed something I gotta go back and take June and July again I didn't realize how crooked it's barely noticeable though but I don't know what just how come I never noticed it from the get go I guess I was trying to rush I guess I was trying to rush what a shame in this one 90% broken on it Terminator crystal first jewel of the day at least it's there right something's there Add the jewelry to the pocket. Yeah, but I was a little bit bummed that I figured out I had to go back and get June and July reshot because the crooked image is the same angle as that dang horizon. Exact same angle. I just verified it the other night and I was like, that's impossible. Thought I had it perfectly clear so excited to finally get that video done and it's going to take a year and a half to do a one year time lapse <laughs> what a bummer in that but I guess it's just telling me I need to keep going out to the mountain because they know I love it I thought well, that was a thing right there I know you did too I know you probably jumped out of your chair and said Dumb A, why don't you look down at the ground? It's nothing but a leaf. I saw it earlier. <laughs> it's nothing but a leaf. Oops, watch your mouth. It's more than just a leaf. It's the geometries that you have to use. Either living or dead, you gotta have it. Someone probably said you do. It's not a quartz rock, but it's not. 
it's not created into something else. I know you're just, you're angry with me at the moment. I know you are. Because some of the times you probably watch my videos to see the artifacts. But this is GA. So it's that in the very beginning when I was making videos that a lot of things that are important is the content in the video. The things I talk about. Not really what you're looking at on the screen. Not a dang thing. That is it. Busted. Almost done in this one though. I still don't know if I'm going to head to another spot. I was just thinking about something though. When it came to like the human garbage and stuff. I'm not necessarily talking about the ancient pottery or anything like that. I had somebody argue with me another time in the past when I was talking about the pottery. And picking up the human garbage and stuff. And they were like, you know. This is what had me start talking about. And considering it like ancient garbage, even though in the beginning I didn't really start talking about it like that. So someone just said, well, they littered too, but their stuff is made from the earth. <laughs> it's made from the earth. That's not really litter. Kind of like glass really isn't litter either. I mean, you go to the beach and you pick up the beach glass, make art out of it, that kind of thing. Plastic is definitely garbage. Tin cans, probably, probably not. Aluminum, not really garbage. Anything made of paper, I kind of just like shrug my shoulders, be like, you know, they told me. They told me, the ones out here told me. They said paper is nature. They don't complain about it. And then I look at a plastic bag and someone says, Metatron, make them pick it up. But who is them? Was a Metatron around me? And then the ones who are above Metatron tell Metatron to tell me to pick it up? Could that be it? I did think about that. But you know, I was thinking about a different kind of artistic concept. A different way to remember your days other than the videos, other than taking photographs. But I had a different kind of concept many times, a long time ago, I guess. That you're looking at a few pieces here. I've already added a few pieces to the pocket. But I had this artistic concept before. When it came to these things right here. The new garbage that is. I will never do this, what I'm about to tell you. I'll never do this with the uh, ancient stuff though. You can't do it. That would be absolutely horrible. But when it comes to things like this, the golf balls are from fun times, you know, with the buddies. But little things like this. I had this concept about what I call daily art. Daily art in a different way. It's as if I would take these items right here. Go out and whatever I come across when it comes to garbage, I would pick it up. But I would, shortly after, I would make a sculpture out of it, an art piece of the things that I find and collect to get the garbage out and turn it into art. It's the eye in that. I gotta take a look at that. The eye might be in there. But take those pieces and create some kind of weird sculpture that's oriented 
with things differently placed or specifically placed whatever and see what develops you know tell me remember today and turn it into a masterpiece don't clean it nothing like that just leave it as is just get the dirt off of it the loose dirt the grease whatever but then just play around with it and see what it would look like every piece might look very different from the other some pieces might be bigger than others most definitely but imagine if you cleaned up every single portion of a creek in an urban location picking the things off the tree branches the plastic bags that have been shredded everything else and you just start making something imagine what that would look like you talk about a different kind of art piece but yeah cool little idea nice little piece of cut wood right here I think I found it out here before we put that there cool little piece of wood a little bit too wet to take though looks better out here yeah. let me go ahead and keep on going make a decision on the other place I was also thinking about something though you know I quit drinking a while back and I asked them for permission I did like I have to ask for dang permission every time I come out here well not every time not every time I have to ask for permission it's just you know as long as they know I'm here in case I get shot they said up oh, there's a piece of chert I'm not going to keep it though it's just a tiny thing that's it but I was sitting there thinking about when it came to drinking how I used to talk about it was a form of drinking with Bacchus I used to cut up about it all the time coming out to drink with Bacchus. Those were some of my most successful times. I know you're probably going to sit there and try to put two and two together. One and one together, whatever. Put the numbers and things together. The ideas. And I did think about it too. I know I'm a very spiritual human being and I have to think about things like this all the time because there's always a, a cause for something. There is. The things that we all do. No matter what it is, there's a cause. Just like every time I even move around out here, there's a cause for it. Like the placement of that clay soil is right there. I don't want it to be on the bottom of the sheet. Because I'm going to track it into place because it's a perfect material that will stick to the bottom of your shoes. And I was thinking about this. Like you look at something like that and it causes you to go around. And you see something in a different angle. You see it. Same thing with the way nature is placed out here. The depths of the waters. Whatever it is. It causes you to do something. But like when it comes to drink with Bacchus. The one out here. That loves for you to come out and drink with them. And party it up. Have a good time. Have a good chats. Whatever. That's beautiful. What if that's the reason why I haven't been collecting anything? I had a thought about that though. Since it's been so long. And there have been many days where I kind of stopped drinking with Bacchus out here. Even a while back. What if they didn't like that? I'll have to ask them later. Let me go and look at this first. Beautiful. Dang. At least it's only two o'clock. Still nothing. And I gotta figure out a way to get backwards. <laughs> 
I got us crazy. Not really though. Last thing recovered was a handle of something in the form of a C. Got it to the pocket. It's got sand in it. Not gonna be able to get it out. Cool object, just garbage for later. That's all it is. But there's a different kind of, you know, not really garbage, but there's something different down here. Probably giving us a sign that it's time to go to the place where it might house and hold something very significant. Don't know until I go, if I decide to go, but I see something that has a curve on it. I know it's kind of insignificant. I only know if that's a piece of bark though. Could be just a rock. Well, there's a piece of the pot. Look at that. No design on it. That's probably the go ahead that I need to go to the second spot because we might fill the pockets with a few items. Don't know. That one place I've gone too many times and walked out with two little tiny pieces. Today might be different. Don't know until I go. What I tell you about that heaven? Too bad I don't have the Budweiser on me. For real though. Perfect. I knew I was going to find it today. Check this place out right here. After all my times coming out here, never knew such a place existed. Yeah, I just gave up on the different kind of history that is and just started walking around. It's like the good old days. Like what we all used to do. And I still kind of do it now. Well, still kind of do it. <laughs> I do it as much as I can. Man. I don't know where this leads. I don't want to go too much further. Don't want to end up getting lost out here. Dang, look at that. Wonder if the natives were out here like 11,000 years ago. Never tell. Picturesque. 
I usually get a lot of good pictures in March. And it's that time of the year. Sun's not too dark out here. No good. I guess the animals ate it. Look at that. <laughs> That's not good, but it's crazy though. They ate the crap out of this thing. I guess they had a taste for propellers. Seems like there's no easy way down. What the heck do I get myself into? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, beautiful. It's just there. No, I haven't been sipping on the good stuff or smoking anything either. Look at that. Imagine the summertime. There's going to be like seven turtles in here chilling. But how are they going to climb out? Huh, how the heck am I going to climb out? Look, they're making art. This is brand new. That's like, I'd say a week, maybe three. Look at the art pieces though, the wood grain. The dry wood out here. Look at that march. Uh, I say, man, you're gonna put some holes in your waders. 
I'm looking for my finger point rock that I stuffed out here like three years ago. It was too big to add to the pocket thing. It was probably going to be the largest one in my collection. And I left it right next to the bank in this opening. I got to find the opening first. But I haven't been out here in like, I'd say, a year and a half. It's been that long since I've been out here. So, you know, things are going to be changed around a little bit. Dang. Look at all the X's. There's a crap load of triangles in this one. Look at all the X's. Looks like a hooked X. Look at that one. It's a perfect triangle too. Man. Let me go ahead and take some reference pictures. Look at that. Beautiful. We still have three and a half hours of daylight left to find some things. Let me take pictures of this natural oh. let me go ahead and take pictures of this natural language right here. <laughs> you're going to say, but eventually you're going to take a thousand pictures. Look at that. Well, what do you expect? Well, dang. The lost language is on this side. Check that out. Of course I'm still here. Man. Talk about handwriting. Where the face is. <laughs> Wild. This is the one I need right here. Not to take out of here. No, nothing like that. I mean, this is the one I need to. Hello. husband and wife I guess got to be careful with this one though this is the third time I've ran into this one it's like a beacon for me though it is it's like a beacon this is the one that I need to come out to with the with the paper and do rubbings all over it well you know the trace paper with the uh pastels different colors like you know do one layer and then turn it around not turn it around flip it over nothing like that but I mean you know just turn the paper over hold on I'm looking well you know what I mean just switch it around a little bit and then do another color weird on how they drew me back to the same location I bet my finger pointed rock out here is just covered up. I put it right next to the bank. <sighs> Dang manipulation is what this is called. Dang manipulation. I have never seen it like this before. The creek is now on the right side. What the heck is going on out here? They probably pulled my finger pointed rock out. They did. They had to. There's no way I'm going to be able to get around this. This probably happened in the last six months or so. We're not going to find anything out here. It's too muddy as it is. I just came here as a shot in the dark. Try to take a look around, but they're turning things around. Yeah, there's, there's no way. Uh -uh. We can't even get in the water. Man, I think my finger pointing rock is over here by a tree that's been uh, switched around a little bit. Hold on. Who wants to go on this slippery stuff, this slippery soil? Oh, man. 
I can't go around half a mile to get someplace. I guess I'm going to have to crawl to get to nothing. Oh, that was not good. I'm looking for the finger pointer rock. I didn't have the general location where I just threw it. I just threw it someplace up here. You can't miss it. Let's hope we kick it. They'll tell me if I, uh, well, they'll tell me where it is if I kick it. You're going to say, why don't you try using your eyes? Huh. Bet you $10 trillion there's not going to be anything on top of that very soft gravel bar. Sand bar. Weird, man. It's like a weird creek. It's a different creek now. It used to have so many rocks and stuff in it, though. It used to have so many gravel bars. This was probably never here. I wouldn't be doing this in the summertime. You know it's going to be growing up. The cherubs out here are going to be growing up. Maybe they didn't pull my finger pointed rock out of here. It should be sticking right up. I don't know why I didn't have the, uh, I don't know why I didn't have the pocket space last time. I mean, not last time, but a long time ago. To put it in. Sorry, excuse me, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Sorry. But you know, after all that time, those things are going to be covered up anyway. It's probably covered up like crazy. The hair that combs down over time, then moss grows on top of it. It's like a quartz rock, I think. So it had smooth edges. I knew I just popped it right on the side. I tossed it though. When I was in there, I tossed it up here. But I know it was close to an entrance. And I said I was going to try to come back and get it later. You know how that works with us, don't you? Uh-oh. Are we going to collapse? Maybe my finger pointed rock is in there. I know I didn't do it over here, though. Oh, dang. I don't think I'm going to find it. Let me keep looking. Yeah, I'm not going to find it. There ain't no way. Now I can't remember where I put it. Crap. Probably would have been one of the better ones in my collection. I knew I just tossed it someplace up here. Right close to the edge. But not enough to get it pulled down. Man. I'll have to just forget about that one and collect more later. I took off the heavy jacket. It's like 60 now. It went from 22 to 60. Who's ready to not find anything? <laughs> this used to be all sand. Now it's all mud. Well, it used to be half sand and half rock, excuse me. We're not going to find anything out here. I don't know, though. I just shot the dark to come out here. And call a very famous person. That tribulation. All right, I might find a couple shards out here. I don't know. They might just be combed over. It's beautiful out here, though. Look at that. It's going to be extremely 
extremely, extremely soupy up in here. I'm asking for some serious trouble. When you see it like that, let's just hope there's a little bit of a foundation though. What the heck is that thing? Piece of metal. Well, I knew what it was when I saw it. By the way, you're never going to find any points out here. It's a very muddy creek, sometimes kind of dirty. Pottery is always curved, either up or down, sitting right on top. The edges are usually going to be pounded into the side, and then you'll see a hump. That's cool looking right there. Wow, look at that. Oh, dang it, it's busted on that side. And it's soft too. I thought it was gonna be strong enough to sand down. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for right here. Right there, it's exactly what I'm looking for. I see a couple of things I recognize from a long time ago sitting down here. Yes, we have to look through the mud. There could be a half intact pot. Look at that perfect triangle. Outlined by the shadows. And also the line of the little snakes. Two of them right next to each other. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what's that? Bark? Yes, stink. Like a giant spear tip. Unrecognizable creek. That's what I'm looking for right here. This kind of, see, see, see. Yes, and it's got a design on it. Look at that. See, we're smart. We are. Thought that was a rock, but what made me pick it up? You already know. Usually it's just pottery out here, though. Like I said, there's never, ever, ever, ever going to be any points out here. It's simple. Who's ready to look in the soils of nothingness? <laughs> you know, it's craziness right here. Look at this board. I tell you what, I've had many ideas when I come across this stuff right here. When I see weathered plywood, look at that. It's like a rock that has been chipped away on one side. I had an idea about that though. Just find rotted plywood, just like this, and then paint the different levels. And that would be the piece. Paint in between the lines, look at that. You know, paint that, paint that. You know, it kind of resembles. That's cool. Should I just carry this around with me? Yes, indeed. I just went through that muddy zone, slippery. Soupy, recovered nothing at all except a couple of tiny shards of pottery. But that thing right there, something's up with that. Got to keep a lookout for this when I find old dump sites and stuff. Try to collect this. It's different at every angle. That's nice. Let me carry it around for a little while. Now this is what I'm looking for right here. And I see a couple of gravel bars up there. It might be washed off. At the top, so don't know though, since it's been so long that I came out here. But look at that man picture. Very soupy out here. This place used to be filled with nothing but rocks and gravel. I'd find 13 to 25 shards of pottery every single day, but things have changed out here, really, though. 
I just had the little memory thing pop up on the video. It means I gotta figure out how to get the uh, iPhone emptied out tonight for another round of videos. Man, let me go ahead and keep looking around. Boy, crazy. Let's hope it's out here. Whatever it is, I'm looking for. Get a load of this. About two years later, same spot when I found a top of a bowl or something like that. I had a fine line at the top. Found it right up here when this used to be all the way out here. And then I found the other part on the other side, broken in half, fit together like a puzzle when I was sitting on that log. Guess what I just found? That's crazy. Might be another part of that bowl. Of course it's a small piece. Why wouldn't it be larger? That might be part of the other bowl. Part of that dish. That's wild. You know what I said? Eventually go ahead and look around. At what? <laughs> I'll just have to keep waiting. Let me go ahead and clean that thing off. That's definitely part of the puzzle. Definitely. Something like this reminds me of a spa or a backyard garden or something. Look at that. That's downright awesome right there. Oh, heck yeah. Check this out. Before it goes away for another nine months. Man. I know. I like I haven't seen ice before. It is mid-March, and this is going to be the end of it. It's not going to focus. That's cool right there, though. Let me go ahead and get some pictures. If I have the memory in the phone, though. That's what I'm talking about. One tiny start of pottery coming up. What'd I tell you? Cover this entire location right here. Got up in here. One tiny star of pottery coming up. Only thing out here. And it's in the perfect spot. Only thing out here. Crazy. Gonna have to leave it out here. Gotta find something better later. I think I'll just write down the idea in my books. That's cool though. Not good for the arthritis carrying it around like that. Thing weighs a ton. But there's something here that doesn't weigh a ton. Almost stepped on it. The perfect place to find points if they ever existed out here. But I only collected one in nine years. <laughs> Not good if you're looking for that out here. But good for something else. Historic or not. How deep is this going to be right here? <sighs> it's past the knees already. I'm just trying to hug the side. Won't be doing this in the spring and summer. You already know why. Something's going to be hanging out. I wish. Got another baby one right here. I just kicked it up. I saw it backwards. Yeah, just a bunch of small stuff the rest of the way. Nothing big, nothing major. Who knows what I would have collected elsewhere. If I decided to drive so far, probably would have cost me $900 in gas. Three seconds later, literally three seconds later. What the heck do I get myself into? <laughs> yeah, 
check that out. One last piece before I get out of here. Perfect. Quit beginning to the evening. See you back at the studio. As always. I know it wasn't much, but it's good enough. Waited all weekend for this one. Nine hours later, two days, I think I might have my first one. I'll see you bottom. I don't know if that's fake or what. Could be just a game piece. Is it real? All weekend for this? You better believe it. Thank you, Almighty, for the fun. Razor thin. Thanks for the game. See you back at the studio for real. Let's get a load of this. Dang it. I gotta be more careful in the springtime. Someone knocked down one of our buildings. <laughs> Dang. Come on, guys. Now, you know, that's a lot. <laughs> what the heck? Man. You're going to say it's all your fault. But, you know, they can be a little relentless, though. Talk about tearing the club up. <laughs> what were they looking for? <laughs> what the heck happened in here? <laughs> Just don't touch the 1650 bottle. Please don't do that, guys. <laughs> what the heck? Damn <laughs> Superman had no chance. <laughs> what the heck happened here? <laughs> See, even the devil can't take down the tree of life. Absolute proof right here. And look. <laughs> they got the teddy bears all flipped upside down? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is proof right here, my bad fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, I should have known. What the heck is that thing? Oh, his cape. I thought it was part of the book. What a mess. This is proof. I'm sorry. My bad. I should have known this was going to happen. I just got home from adventuring. Even nature does the same thing. They're looking for the treasure, but they never see what's the most important. They don't see it. Tree of life, of course. 
right in front of their face. And they'll do anything they can to flip something over and dig for something. To try to find it. But it's right there. They didn't even look up. Or even look to the side. Let me go ahead and clean up this mess. Looks like they didn't learn the lesson. No one I'm about to Practically filled up one single pocket. Check out this load. A lot of good things in this one. They treated us right today. They did. They're always questioning who is they? Well, the ones we should always believe in. The ones that you don't necessarily see or understand out there. Hmm. Some things you never saw. But something that you definitely saw. I'm thinking as my sinuses drip. <laughs> yeah, that was another cold one out there today. In the beginning, that was. And then it warmed up in the 60s. Like it was the 1960s. What the heck was that? A giant sea. But I know it's a handle of something else, just a piece of garbage. Got it out of there. Maybe there's symbolism within the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. C9. Nine. nine C. Huh. Look at that letter. Picking up other people's garbage. It's what I do best, I guess. I'm trying to clean up heaven. Did they lose or did they win? Why do people just disrespect? They didn't win the treasure, so they trash it. Per <laughs> Perfect tens? <laughs> Perfect tens. Okay. All right. Let me take a deeper look at that one. Talk about a different kind of winner. <laughs> Perfect tens. Yeah. Art. Why well, I kept this, I don't know. They know I'm a baseball fan. They try to throw something inside of this thing. I wonder if there's a treasure on the inside. Maybe I'll put this thing in there. I'm ruining the table. Oh, it's nothing. It's just plastic. Probably just in the field for this thing. Yeah. Cool. Look how much treasure was inside. More to come. Definitely going to be hanging on this piece of garbage for a while.
Smiley faces on a smiley faces on a baseball. Yeah, garbage CD. Yeah, we found heaven out there. Always looking for it. Just like I'm always looking out for things like this. Don't know why. <laughs> cool, artistic. If you want this holla, dance to the rescue. <laughs> Symbolism, maybe, maybe not. Is it broken? It's no good. Maybe the real deal is on this. Gotta be a hidden clue in here somewhere. And she doesn't have flower of life eyes. Maybe it's the date that we should take a deeper look at. 2005. Huh, not rated. I'm looking. I know it's just the way I think about things. Things are set out there for a reason. Explore. Okay, cool. That would be me. Cool. Architectural bones. Piece of one of those gym balls. Never found anything like this before. Look, it looks like pollen. But that actual color of the ball was yellow. <laughs> Probably trying to tell us what it what it's going to be like out there later when all the pollen starts coming out. The yellow dust. Yeah, piece of garbage. Cool. Keep that for our later. Where it came from, I do not know. Wish we can all find these things intact for real. Understand the South differently if we, they were all intact. But the more you find intact, the less they're worth. But then you pick up the fragments and make something else to make it priceless. Just one of my ideas. this thing was pointing at. I picked up something after I saw this and I forgot what it was. No, it wasn't the point. It was pointing in a specific direction and I found something that's in this collection. Can't remember what it was. Could be the heart rock with an X on it. Yeah. Nice finger pointer rock. Too bad I didn't find the one I stashed out there earlier, a few years ago. Is that a boat? <laughs> Looks like a boat. Yeah, pottery. Terminated jewel right here. I don't know if it was pointing at that. Or if it was pointing at the rock. It was pointing at this. There's the X right there. The two black lines crossing each other. Always see that X a mile away, but you can only see it in particular perspectives.
Another hard rock for the collection. Hmm. Wonder why I've been coming across those lately. Dang indeed. Dang it's not intact. <laughs> You're only allowed to collect what you find. What you come across. They get to keep the rest. It's just a token for your curiosities. Knowing that they're still out there. Another part of the bowl right here. I'll look at those later. On my own time. That one's got some luster to it. Oh, that's a modern piece. <laughs> a little bit confused on that one. <laughs> it's a few hundred years younger. Different kind of mistake right there. I wonder how old this stuff really is though. Probably not older than 600 years old. Yeah, but this thing here. Last thing before dark. Where the hell they saved it for the last? The beginning of the evening, end of the day. The one thing I was looking for. And I finally found it. Practically the thing I was looking for all weekend. And it's perfect. Probably woodland. Probably about 800 to 1,000 years old. That's it. Could be wrong. Could be right. But they did it right on this one. Just like we did it right on the whole day. Hope you enjoyed the time out there. Spring is right around the corner. See you later.